What would you anticipate the budget might be? So, Governor Kasich is uh, planning, and he's spoken about this publicly, to introduce a budget that radically reforms funding to primary and secondary education. And what you're going to see is you're going to uh, see a destruction of public education in the state, and again, a, a development of, of an education system in the state that benefits the wealthy uh, in the state. Uh, and is not really going to address uh, the folks that really need uh, help and support in, in education to make sure that we're a successful society. We're going to see a loss of funding to uh, uh, colleges and university, We saw that in the last budget, and I, I expect to, to see it again. Uh, and our local governments, which means police and fire, are going to take a huge hit in this budget as uh, we foresee. Uh, the goal of uh, John Kasich is to strangle the local communities as much as he possibly can. So you think it's just going to be more of the same, like the last budget cut? Uh... I think you're going to see uh, much more of the same. And then you're going to see the funneling of money, like the, uh, the profits from liquor sales in Ohio, to private entities, to private corporations. Instead of us using uh, things to really lift up Ohioans, we're going to see it uh, shifted to private entities. What do you think what he's done is unconstitutional in terms of the... He set up a corporation called Jobs Ohio. Uh, we uh, prohibited these corporations uh, because of the 1852 Constitution, uh, which says that the state cannot set up these corporations and the state cannot take equity interest in these corporations. And that's exactly what John Kasich has done. He has set up a corporation in which he's funneling all this revenue that is taxpayer revenue uh, to this corporation. What, what about, tell me a little more about your campaign. Who, are you directly running against somebody or is there several running for the same seat? So uh, I'm running for one of the three spots for the Ohio Supreme Court okay. this year. And uh, my opponent is Justice Terrence O'Donnell, uh, who hails from Cuyahoga County. This is a statewide race, and so I mean, you're—it's difficult to get your message out. I'm sure. Well, I'm, I'm doing it the best job I can, but I need everybody's help. Uh, what we want is uh, balance and fairness in the Ohio Supreme Court. Right now, uh, the citizens of Ohio do not have that balance in the court. Uh, there is no elected Democrat to the Ohio Supreme Court. That means when these justices, which generally share the same fl uh, political philosophy, all get around the table, only one viewpoint is being presented. There's no balance in the court. Well, if you were going to pick one particularly bad decision the court's made, in your opinion, what would that be? Well, there's been a number of bad decisions, uh, but uh, the limit of access uh, to the courts and, and allowing uh, uh, people that are, are injured by, by others, the negligence of others, to fully get compensated. Thanks a lot. Sure.